Hello mate and welcome. This is a very quick tutorial on using Photoshop or any image editing software to create a material that you can use inside Unity. Unity does have the ability to um, create different types of material, but they are, suffice to say that Unity does a great job at many things, but when it comes to changing materials from one type to another, if you were to upgrade your render pipeline or something like that, you would end up um, having to do a whole lot of extra work. Whereas if you just use Unity's uh, native HDRP lit or its unlit shaders, what you can um, do then is when you upgrade and stuff, Unity usually does a better job of dealing with it. So anyway, the problem with Unity materials, as we can see on the right here, is that it takes this thing called a mask map. And the mask map is actually a composite of three or four different maps. In fact, it takes our metallic, our ambient occlusion, our detail mask, and our smoothness in as different channels in the image that we're looking at. And the reason that they can do that is because all of those maps are just grayscale images. They only take the white value um, of the image to map out whatever it is that it's trying to map out. So we can actually create one of those in Photoshop. So once you've got yourself onto Polyhaven, you can see I've downloaded a material here from Polyhaven or any other place where you can download them. And all I've got is the roughness, the normal map, the diffuse or the color map and the ambient occlusion. I'm not going to need any of the others realistically. Um, in fact, the metallic, the metallicity map is, all, is is quite often a difficult one to get hold of. So anyway, let's jump into Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is drag your roughness map into uh, Photoshop. And as you can see, here it is. And on the right hand side or wherever you've got your window layout, you're going to find that there's a channels tab, okay? And at the moment, this image is just a grayscale image. In other words, it doesn't have RGB channels, which we need to fix because our mask map uses RGBA. So what we're going to do is we go to image mode and we're just going to change it to RGB color. And now when I go into the channels map, you can see that I've got RGB. And what I also need to do at this point is just make sure I do Control and A to select everything and Control and C to actually select everything. And then I'm going to come back into my channels and I'm going to hit this plus button here to create the alpha channel. Now the alpha channel by default is going to be completely black. So what I need to do is I need to actually paste my roughness map into this. Okay. Now remember the Unity uses smoothness, not roughness. So what we also need to do is do Control and I to invert our roughness map into a smoothness map. No idea why Unity does it that way. Literally every other 3D program that I can think of uses roughness, not smoothness. But there you go. It is what it is. Okay. So now if we hop back into Unity, we can see that we need some other information. So for example, where is my ambient occlusion going to live? So we'll bring this up. Hover our mouse over there, and we can see the ambient occlusion goes into the green channel. So I'm going to jump back into Photoshop and I can select my green channel. Now, what I need to do is load in my ambient occlusion map in a different image. Control A and Control C. So I copy all of that, then jump back into my mask map, making sure I've still got the green channel selected, and Control V that into there. Okay, so now. On our alpha channel, we've got our smoothness. On our green channel, we've got our ambient occlusion. And if we jump back in, what we can see when we hover over our mask map is again, I've clicked on there, shouldn't have done that. Now we can see that metal, metal, the metallic map goes in red and the detail mask goes into blue. We don't have um, either of those. So what we're going to do is our blue channel. I'm going to make sure I've got black selected and I'm just going to hit delete. And then it's going to say fill. I'm going to hit OK. And that's just filled my blue channel with black. In other words, nothing. Now on the red channel, what I'm going to do is make sure that I haven't got the blue channel selected as well. That's what, that's what caused confusion there. Now for met metallicity, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make sure I've got the red channel selected. I'm going to go to image adjustments and I'm going to go to levels. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my white value way down like right down here you can still see there is some detail there and i'm going to drag this up 
so that you can see that it's now got contrast again and I'm going to bring this back down. We do want a tiny little bit of metallicity but only really tiny in the grains of this wood in this example so just drag it down to there until it looks good and then hit OK. Now if we go to our RGB channel we can see that we've got this green image. That is what our mask, our mask map is. So all we need to do now is we need to make sure we save this as a TIFF image and then we can put it into Unity. And now when I'm in Unity, all I have to do is drag those maps into the right place. So put my different values in there. And then make sure when you use your normal map that you set its mode to normal. So select it and then where it says import settings, make sure you select normal map into there and then hit apply. Otherwise you're gonna get some wacky results. And then what you can see now is that I've actually got that material now is correctly mapped to this sphere at the bottom. And it's, uh, I mean, it's wood. It's not going to be particularly exciting to look at. But anyway, that's how you make a mask map for Unity using Photoshop. All right, thanks very much for watching that, guys. I hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.